Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Today we're going to be adding the Asus Strix 1660 Super to our mining server. Over the last couple of days we've been benchmarking it to see what it does on its own. Today we'll add it to the rest of our graphics cards in our mining server that we built. Be right back while we install this card. So we've currently got two mining servers running. This runs Windows 10 with Nysash. Currently have three cards in it. We have our RTX 2070 Super, our 5700 XT, and we've got the smaller card which is the which is the GTX 1070 8GB. We're going to be installing the GTX 1660 Super in this server. So these are the riser cables that we use to fit a full-size graphics card fit into the PCIe one-speed slots. So full-size graphics card. Let's get our graphics card installed. Let's shut it down, install it, be right back. So we've installed the 1660 Super, as you can see, time to switch on our server and see how it runs. Cable management is terrible, need to do something about that later. Uh, we're only using four slots. And yeah, let's get it up and running and see how it runs. Now that we've got our graphics card installed, let's just make sure it is installed correctly. So in our mining server, we've got our RX 5700 XT, GTX 1070, GTX 1660 Super, and the RTX 2070 Super. So all our cards are installed correctly. No driver issues. Let's get our mining software up and running. Okay. In our mining software, we can see all four graphics cards, which is good. And let's start mining. As we can see, our RTX 2070 Super is using the T-Rex Miner, mining the Octopus algorithm at 47 mega hash. We've got our GTX 1070 mining the Daga Shimoto algorithm at 27 mega hash. We have our GTX 1660 Super using Phoenix Miner, mining on Daga Hashimoto at 29 mega hash our rx 5700 xt using nb minor mining the dagash modo algorithm at 53 mega hash let's take a look at the overclock settings for each card the rx 5700 xt is running at 50 percent power limit with a core clock of 1500 megahertz and our memory clock at 1800. We have our RTX 2070 Super. We've dropped it down to 85% power limit. We increased our core clock by 100 and our memory by 1300. GTX 1070, we've, we're using 85% power limit with plus 100 on the core and plus 750 on the memory. And then we've got the new card that we just installed, the GTX 1660 Super. Power limit is at 75%, plus 100 on the core, plus 750 on the memory. The GTX 1660 Super is running at 101 watts, 
and mining at 29.8 mega hash per second. We've got the RTX 2070 Super mining the Octopus algorithm at 47.5 mega hash. It's using about 184 watts. We've got both the GTX 1070 and RX 5700 XT mining on NB Miner. The 1070 is running at 27 mega hash. The 5700 XT is running at 54 mega hash. The current profitability on the server is $5.21. Our Bitcoin price is currently at $19,211 and it is mining stable. So we've installed our GTX 1660 Super successfully into our mining server. Currently having four cards. Um, I still have space for another two cards, but I'll probably keep that space for two newer cards like the 3060 Ti, 3070, or 3080 or maybe just getting an RX 6800 to complete that mining server. Let's take a look at the mining profits per card. Let's switch off everything. Most profitable coin for the RTX 2070 Super is Ethereum. Let's see what this card generates per day. So the RTX 2070 Super generates about $1.72 per day or 8,945 Satoshis per day. The GTX 1070 is mining Ethereum at $1.07 per day or 5,500 Satoshis per day. The GTX 1660 Super is mining Ethereum at 29 mega hash. It's generating about $1.17 per day or 6,100 Satoshis a day. The RX 5700 XT is generating about $2.17 per day or 11,000 Satoshis per day. Let's turn all our cards on. Let's take a look at the monitoring side of things. Looking at our history and stats with the current cards I've got mining on NiceHash, we're looking at about 900 Rand per week, 3,800 Rand per month, and 46,000 Rand per year. And that is that equates to about 16% of a Bitcoin a year. So every month I mine just over 1% of Bitcoin. Let's just take a look at our profits per day. For the mining profits for the last week, we're looking at 94.77 per day. If you go further down, we'll see that our profits has been increasing up to 100 rand, 118 rand. Hope you enjoyed the video and that it was informative. Please Please leave your comments down below to let me know what you think of the content that I bring you. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.